Talk about ETH select drugs. This is one that seems to be getting uh, a lot of attention. So let's look at what that concrete is like to consist of. At least 20 feet of bare copper conductor, not small in the AWG, or one or more bare or electrically conducted steel, coated steel reinforcing bars, rods not less than half inch diameter. And again, the uh, reinforcing bar can be in one continuous length, or it can be in multiple, multiple lengths that make up that 20 foot length with the usual tie wires and all this. As I said earlier, this is something that the concrete contractor installs. And the way you do the installation is meeting the building code. The amount of overlap, the tie wires and all that is all building code uh, control item. The electrical code just says if you have this building code item, this is what you're going to be using. The uh, other thing about the rebar is if it's the epoxy coating rebar that is not conductive, that is galvanized or bare, or that is perfectly fine in the concrete case. The concrete encasement needs to be at least two inches on all sides, and it be located horizontally or vertically, so 20 feet horizontally or 20 feet vertically in the uh, concrete. Now, again, one of the things about a concrete case selector, I mean, it is an assembly, and it really is the volume and surface area that concrete exposing the volume of earth that makes the electro. The rebar and the wire inside of it is part of that system that lets you connect the conductive concrete that's typically got moisture around it to that's connected to your up to your electrical system. Again, that rebar could be a continuous uh, bar with a ground electrical conductor shown on the top here coming off of it, or it could be the uh, number four bare copper wire that's in the base of foundation and footer. And you can see the side views there where it comes in. So again, a, a good diagram here of a concrete and case electrode with the rebar and the usual tie wires installed by the concrete contractor. One of the things you'll find common, and this came into the code a few cycles back, is having that rebar stub up. There's you know, one of the issues we used to say where the concrete case selector was available, it had to be used. And again, the argument was, well, the, the foundation was already poured, the rebar is already covered, it's not available. Uh, which is not really a good excuse, but it's a lot of excuse that's been used. The code panel may be changed to change the word uh, available to present. So if it's present there in the Twitter Foundation, it shall be used uh, there. And one of the ways this can be made to work very easily, and it's not in many places, is to have a little piece of rebar stub up into a drywall area. This key needs to stub up, not out into the dirt, uh, out of the side of the foundation where it's going to just basically corrode away and actually cause a deterioration of the rebar in the footer, which is a structural issue. It needs to be spelled out in the drywall area of the sill plate or in the sub floor area so that the electrical contractor electrician can come along, connect the ground electrical conductor to it. So it's an extension of that electrode up from there. It, and it's not as a part of the ground electrode, you still need the 20 feet horizontal and vertical below it. But you have that stub up there's an easy connection. Again, with a building inspector doing the inspection of the foundation, can verify that it, it constitutes a concrete case electrode with the stub up, get the pour in there, uh, all the electrician come on site to do a service, and he's easy to connect to, needs to be accessible. We'll talk about that in a little bit the, uh, with that. And here's an example here of the stub up in there. And one of the things that happens, unfortunately, is carpenters come along every once in a while with the hacksaw or the saw saw and cut that stub up off because it's in their way of doing the sill plate. And that presents another problem. We're going to get to it. Uh, we get back to that. So there's some change issues there. How do I get to it and make a connection and all that uh, be dealt with basically on site between you and the AHJ? But again, that ground clamp, as you can see, is used to identify to be used with rebar reinforcing bar.